Hey guys, it's me Tolahan. In this quick video, I will be showing you how to download the Fansworth House, a comprehensive free Revit project file from Blocks. I will also show you how to install the textures for the downloaded project file. The reason I am sharing this with you is because it is available for free and by going through this project file, you will learn how to manage your Revit projects, create different types of presentation drawings within Revit and much more. So let's get started. First, let's open a web browser and search for blocksrvt.com. You will find the link in the description. I've already made a video about the Blocks plugin, which you can check out if you want to know how to download over 7000 Revit families. Anyway, first you need to log in. If you don't have an account, you can create a new one by clicking here. I already have an account, so I will just log in. Now you need to go to Projects. As you can see, we have several projects available, but the one we want to download is Farnsworth House project file. Let's click download. A new window will open. Click download again. As you can see, it is available in three different languages and three different Revit versions. I'm going to choose the 2025 English version. Let's click it and the download has started. So the download is finished. Let's click here to open the zip file. Here we have these files. I'm going to copy them to my desktop. I will create a new folder and paste them here. This is our main file and here we have the textures. Let's see how to use these textures. First you need to open Revit. Let's go back. And I'm going to click the file menu and then options here you need to go to rendering as you can see we have some folders already added here you could simply add this folder from your desktop to your revit however i recommend that instead of using a folder on your desktop you should always have a designated revit textures folder on your computer the reason for this is you might accidentally delete the folder from your desktop and lose the textures. But if you have a designated Revit textures folder on your computer, it will be very helpful and you won't lose your textures. Plus, you can use the same texture folder for other projects as well. As you can see, I created this Revit textures folder earlier on my D drive. You should also create a texture folder on your computer. Now I'm going to open this folder and paste the textures we just copied. Once you have created a folder on your PC, you need to copy the path. You can do that by right clicking here and selecting copy. Now let's go back to Revit in this rendering section. Click this plus button and paste the folder path. That's it. The next time you download families or Revit project files from the internet, you can simply copy the textures into this folder on your PC. And when you open the file, you will find all the textures working perfectly. Now let's click OK. Let's go back to the project folder and see how we can install the fonts. Here we have these two folders. To install a font, you just need to right click and select install. That's it. Now here, instead of installing all of these one by one, we can simply copy them. And let's go to the C drive then Windows and then to the fonts folder let's paste the fonts here now let's open the file as you can see this is the main graphic representation we get when we first open the file if I expand the views you see we have floor plans plans with depth and all these other presentation drawing sets there is a color set as well. As I said earlier, you can go through this project file to learn how to create these kind of amazing presentation drawings within Revit. As you can see, we have some more views here. If I minimize this and expand the schedules. As you can see, we have schedules also available as well as the sheets. We have plenty of sheets available. As I said, you can go through each of these drawings and see how Revit projects are organized. All of these families were loaded from the Blocks plugin. We also have the areas available. 
I've done a video about this as well. How you can create these kind of room numbers with the areas schedule in Revit. You can check that out as well. So that's all I wanted to share with you in this video. I hope it was helpful. Be sure to check out the link in the description to download this project file. Thank you for watching and I will see you in the next one.